Drills Talk, Drills Talk, episode 63. In this episode, we're going to discuss the top three reasons to be as prideful as you want. This is based on a blog I wrote in the past entitled Humble for Who? So the minute you get something going and you're doing well and you're posting about it and you're talking about it, and the, the minute you start, somebody's like, well, you know, but stay humble. Well, congratulations, but, you know, be humble. Why? Why? Like I worked my behind off. I want to I want to feel myself a little bit. I want to smile. I want to let everybody know that I'm doing well and I, I did what I set myself up to do. So you but you want me to be humble. Why don't be my man Eli back there? He beat Tom Brady twice in the Super Bowl. You know me, you know, I, I'm doing pretty well and, and I've been working out, too. You see this? Yeah. Yo, drills. Created by the great of the new world. Drills Talk, Drills Talk, episode 63. In this episode, we're going to discuss the top three reasons to be as prideful as you want. But before we get started, please like, subscribe, uh, anything you like to do. But every Monday here, we have a new blog. Every Wednesday, a new vlog, new Drills Talk. Every Friday is a new beat, an instrumental produced by yours truly. It's a great way to start the weekend. I appreciate the like. I appreciate the subscribe. Come check on me every now and then. Let's get started. Number one. Number one is a question. Are two miserable people better than one? I would say no. Society seems to think yes. Um, if I work my tail off and I'm happy and, and you know, I, I think that celebration is justified, should I not celebrate? Because, you know, this dude over here or this lady over here, uh, not so successful in, in, you know, in the recent past. So should we both be miserable? Should we both feel bad? Like she's feeling bad or he's feeling bad because they they didn't succeed. I'm feeling bad because I did. And, and, and based on, you know, I guess some sort of ridiculous culture, we're told to, you know, you should, you should, you should, you know, not be so loud about it. Just enjoy it over there. You know, just celebrate in your head. Why? Why should I be miserable also so I can do nothing and be miserable because I did nothing and I, I'm not succeeding at anything? Or I can work my tail off and then be miserable because I can't celebrate the fact that I've actually done what I set myself out to do. Yeah, that that deal sucks. Now, I don't like that deal. So what I would say is one miserable person is enough. I'm going to go out and say if you succeed at anything and it makes you feel great, you should go celebrate. You should smile. You should go look in the mirror. You should pat yourself on the back because you know what? A lot of people have goals and don't complete them at all. You set yourself up to complete a goal. You should celebrate. You should feel good about yourself. Humble for who? Number two. Number two is to remember when you were the only one cheering. You know, go back to when you, you just set out your goal and maybe you only told three or four people that you were trying to do something and they were just kind of like, all right, you know, that's that's your dream. They're not going to be that excited about it. But understand how long you were the only one cheering for yourself. Understand that when you were sitting down and by yourself, kind of down in the dumps, only one believing in you. This is why you celebrate, because that what you went through, that that feeling of being alone, that feeling of, you know, you know, doubt just creeping up on you and. And there's nobody to tell you, hey, you don't have to be doubtful. You're 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 really good. This is all going to work out. You are the only one telling yourself that you deserve every bit of celebration. And if someone feels bad because they didn't bust they tell to get a little bit of what you got, maybe you celebrating will give them that final push. And if it don't, it just doesn't. Don't feel bad about that. Do your thing. Number three. Number three is no one should put a cap on your excitement. No one should have that power over you. No one should have that power over anyone. You shouldn't put a cap on anybody else's excitement. If somebody gets a C and you know they're celebrating because they've been getting Fs all you know semester or all year, let them celebrate. That's two letter grades. That's failing to you know being average, and that's a big jump. Just as big a jump as it'll be from being average to getting an A. It, let them live. They worked hard from being a failing student to being an average student. Like, that's a big jump. What is it your business to tell them to be humble? 
you know, where, where do you come off saying that they're not right for celebrating that? Oh, it's people getting A's. Yeah, it is. You know what I mean? If somebody makes a thousand dollars and they've been making $200 a week for, for their entire life, a thousand and one shot is incredible. That's more than a month of income. Who are you to tell them that there are millionaires out there? Yes, there is. I know that. But I'm feeling good about my thousand. So why, why do you have an issue with that? People are, are, are crazy. They're, they're expecting you to live humbly when if it was them, there's no way they would. Why would they? Oh my goodness, I've been waiting on this so long. I, I mean, I've been hurting so much. I remember when I had to choose between paying the bill or eating and blah, 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 and all this other stuff. And it should be understandable for them to celebrate. But you know, you should be humble. I have a big problem with that. And if you're going through that and people tell you, oh, you're a little bit too prideful, you should calm it down. If you want to entertain that, you can ask them why. And if it doesn't have to do anything with you accomplishing your goal, then it's, it's what is it? It's lip service. Like, you're going to explain to me that I should be prideful or I shouldn't be as prideful for the sake of someone else. Why does my success have any dealings with the potential success or failure of someone else? That has nothing to do with my realm. Like, I'm... I'm I'm happy that I I'm no longer making, you know, $200 a week. I'm happy with my my 1000. I was just celebrating my 1000. I told you about the 1000. But you want me to humble myself because this person over here went to, you know, try out for a movie and didn't get selected. That has nothing to do with me. And even if it did, so what? It's my turn. You know, it's just I don't understand how people, you know, get into that situation to where they think they 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 are the authoritative figure in telling someone to calm it down. Why am I calming it down? What if this never happens to me? You know, what if somebody wins something? You know, you've heard before, oh, I've never won anything. And you want them to just act like it always happens? It doesn't always happen. What if, you know, a, you know, a sports star plays for a losing team, seven years, lose, 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 lose. And then they finally get to a good team and they win the championship and they just, they don't know how to act. They're running all over the place. The shirt's off. You know, the sneakers getting thrown in the crowd. They've never been there before. So you can't tell them to act like you've been there. You can't tell, hey, calm it down. They've sucked for seven years. And, and now they're champions. Why would you want to take that from someone? You shouldn't. The next time you think of telling someone to humble yourself, you look in the mirror and, and then tell yourself why and would you be humble in that situation? Quick answer, easy answer, you wouldn't be. Drills Talk, episode 63. These are the top three reasons to be as prideful as you want to be. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. It's drills.com. Check this out. It's drills.